Okay, some more practice writing some formulas here. Okay, so we have magnesium and sulfate. And so if we look at magnesium on our periodic table, we see that it's in group 2A, so we know that it forms a 2 plus, so Mg2 plus. And then sulfate, we know the formula for sulfate is SO4, 2 negative. Uh, so typically what I do is I like to circle these and then can cross those drop our charges. So Mg SO4 and of course that's magnesium sulfate that we come up with in what is magnesium sulfate. Um, it's also uh, also known as Epsom salt maybe what you know it as. Uh, has a has a calming effect in the body. It's used for a number of different things. It uh, slows contractions. It's used in preterm labor. Um, used for a lot of different things in the body. Um, okay, so let's go to lithium carbonate. Um, if we look at lithium in the periodic table, it's in group 1A, and so it forms La plus 1. The 1 is um, understood, so we'll leave, leave that at that. Uh, carbonate is CO3, 2 negative, so we'll circle these. Um, you don't have to circle those. That's something I kind of made up. Um, just works works well so I don't lose track of where I am. Um, it, it gets kind of sloppy on here but on paper it works well. Li2CO3. Li2CO3. And of course um, that's lithium carbonate that we come up with. Uh, lithium carbonate is used for um, Manic depressive disorder, uh, used used for bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder. Um, it's used. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, uh, toxicity with it uh, is over over two. I think I made a video on this, and I don't. I think I forgot to post it. I think it's sitting on my computer. I never posted it. Um, but there's a there's a thing with. Um, with lithium and digoxin, and um, it, it's it's interesting to to remember this. But uh, lithium and digoxin um, they, they become toxic over two. Uh, lithium level over two becomes uh, toxic, and uh, digoxin level over two becomes toxic. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, uh, magnesium and hydroxide. Uh, if we look at magnesium on our periodic table, we have magnesium in group 2A, so magnesium forms uh, Mg2+. Our, that kind of looks like a 1. Let me make that look better. Still looks like a 1. Third time the charm. 2 plus. Okay, and hydroxide, so OH negative. Okay, circle, circle, so M, G, O, H, 2, and of course that's magnesium hydroxide. Uh, this should be in parentheses because it's our polyatomic ion. Um, if, you've been, if you've been in chemistry for a while, you probably realized right away what this is. Um, if if not, it's okay. Uh, but what what this is is it's a it's a base, okay? And we know that's a base because of that OH, and I'll talk about that in a second. But this is uh, this is also known as milk of mag, uh, milk of magnesia. Um, it's an antacid. Antacid. Okay. Um, the OH, the OH uh, anion uh, tells us that it's uh, that it's a base. Um, uh, something I want to talk about uh, the the hydroxide ion and the hydrogen ion um, are the fundamentals in chemistry to acids and bases. And bases. Um, the hydrogen an the having trouble with words today. The hydrogen ion is our is our acid and uh, hydroxide ion is our is our base. So anytime, anytime you see these, uh, these these typically um, 
solutions will dissolve in 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 well different different types of solutions but uh, um, compounds I should say will dissolve in different types of solutions and uh, acids and bases will form and you'll you'll find things and always be looking for these types of compounds and these types of uh, molecules uh, to form and uh, and and this is what you'll find a lot you'll see this and when you see this try to correlate this in your brain to acids and bases uh, respectively. Um, I, I made a video, well I made two videos on arterial blood gases <clears throat> and uh, and I talk about uh, well of course the arterial blood gases um, but um, uh, carbonate, uh, CO3 2 negative, uh, what else is in there? Um, let's see I think carbon dioxide, CO2 is is, uh, is an acid, uh, but these aren't good examples. What can I give you that's a good example? Uh, oh, bicarb, bicarb. Okay, that's what I can do for for a good example. Okay, so um, HCO3 negative. Okay, bicarbonate, uh, HCO3 negative. Anything, anytime you see uh, H in front of it. Um, uh, says that it's uh, it's it's uh, it's a bicarbonate. It says it's bi, so it's hydrogen. Hydrogen says that it's an acid. Okay, um, so maybe that'll help, like when you're doing acid-based stuff, once you get to arterial blood gases and that type of thing. Uh, very tired right now, so um, maybe I'm not making a lot of sense, but <laughs> hopefully this helps you a little bit. Okay, I think that's all I got for you.